We are from the Center for Intelligent and Biomimetic Systems, Shenzhen Institutes of Advanced Technology, Chinese Academy of Science. Professor Yong Sheng Ou is our lab director and the team leader. Our lab is equipped with advanced robotic systems, including manipulators such as Kuka Eva, Rethink Boxster, and Kinova Jaco 2. In the 2020 IROS Robotic Grasping and Manipulation Competition, we bring our latest Kinova system for the Marcha Task Race. In 2019, our team for the first time participated in IROS competition. We raced in the service truck and the logistic truck. There are two technical aspects we consider to improve this time. First, last year we used the HS feed color space segmentation to recognize all objects. The implementation lacks robustness and result in some failure. For example, the color of the cups, ice cubes, and cup leads are very similar, which causes faulty segmentation and corrupted shapes. This time, we combine the HSV segmentation with the machine learning method. Second, last year we used only one camera of a hardware workspace to perform the visual-based positioning. The accuracy and robustness were not good. This year, we add a wrist camera for the collaboration. For the overhead camera, since the table surface has a fixed color, it can be filtered out, leaving only target objects. The recognition process is roughly divided into three parts. First, the caps have distinct colors. After finding them, the water bottle can be segmented first. Second, matcha can be separated by its green color. Third, the recognition of cup leads, cups, and the ice bucket is more difficult since they have no obvious color differences. So an SVM classifier is trying to distinguish them. At the same time, the background filtered residuals are considered as a class of noise for training. Overall, the SVM model is trained to solve a four-class classification problem that are leads, curves, the ice bucket, and noise areas. The training sets and test sets of each class are composed of 20 images and 5 images, respectively. The accuracy reaches over 90%. A raised camera is also applied to calibrate the position of bottles and caps each time before the robot manipulates them. We perform the eye in hand calibration to convert the pixel coordinates to the robot hand coordinate system. The color and shape features are extracted to identify the pixel center of objectives via coordinate transformation. We make the final correction of object locations before performing the sequential actions.